hello my beautiful butterflies and welcome back to my channel today's video I'm gonna share with you what I picked up from the Nordstrom anniversary sale so if you want to see all the items I picked up during the sale you guys know what to do just keep right on watching okay you guys so today I'm gonna share a haul with you from the Nordstrom anniversary sale but before we get into any of that, you know the drill. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping just in case you're interested. And I'm aware that some of you guys are not here for the housekeeping. So just fast forward to the haul and I'll put a timestamp down below of when it begins for you. So, y'all, let's get into housekeeping what I'm wearing today and first we're gonna start with my face as we always do because I love playing in makeup so here we go guys first as for my foundation I have on today it didn't change from the last time you seen me you guys because I have been absolutely loving this foundation I did a whole haul where I went back and purchased more of these items, their skincare, everything, you guys, and I have been loving it. So, on my face today is, again, the Tear Tear Cushion Foundation. I'm in the shade 33C Hazel for reference. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I'm so in love with this foundation. So, if you haven't tried the Tear Tear Foundation, y'all, try it out. This is what it looks like inside. So, when you open it, you get your little patter to put your foundation on. You don't have to use that, but it is a great tool. Um, and that is what the foundation looks like. So y'all, when I tell y'all I love this foundation because it gives you such a beautiful coverage, a nice glow, and y'all, it stays on. So when you put this foundation on, it just stays intact. Even though it's hot where I am now, you guys, it looks gorgeous. I get so many compliments with this. So this has been my go-to for the summer, y'all. And then I next, under it. my eyes to highlight, I use my concealer again from Hourglass. And I love this concealer, you guys. This is in the shade Sienna. And this is like the perfect color to highlight my eyes i have another one when i don't want to wear foundation and i just like dot it on my face that's my skin tone and that one's called dune but this one gives me a little highlight underneath my eyes so i like to use that to brighten up underneath my eyes so i have that on now as far as my eyes today i used a new palette i picked up from dior and this is from their new plan to paris collection it came in this box right here and this is shade number 173 Latal. and y'all with the eyeshadow palette came this nice little pouch to put the eyeshadow in i had to share with you this on screen you guys and this feels like they use the same fabric from like their handbags to make this i'm pretty sure they did you guys because it feels very substantial for a makeup case it doesn't feel flimsy or anything like that. It feels so, so nice. So you just would put your compact in like this. And voila, you guys. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? If you like eyeshadows, pick up one of these on Dior.com. Right now they have a waiting list for it. But it will restock. This new Plan to Paris collection that Dior came out with 
is celebrating the streets of the Capitol. You can see it all in the design. And it's not just done for the makeup, you guys. They have it as the ready to wear, you know, shoes, home goods, all of that good stuff, you guys. Check out their website. This Plan to Paris collection is gorgeous, y'all. So check it out. Here is what it looks like. It has all of our fingerprints on there, as you can see. But this is that gorgeous blue palette, you guys. Hopefully you can see this and the lighting is not washing this out. But I used this entire palette today. So this pink shade, I went all over my lid. This light blue shade, I went right on the outer half of my lid. This deep blue shade here was blended in a little bit in my crease in my outer V and then this one this deeper blue went underneath my lash line and then this beautiful gold right here went in my inner tear duct when I say I love this palette you guys I'm so glad I got this palette I love it because it gives me that shimmer, glittery feel that I love. Now, I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, but it certainly is mine. I love to really play up my eyes, you guys, because I don't really do that on the lips. And if you checked out my video on this collection, you would have saw all the palettes they have available. They have like four. I will link this video at the end so you'll be able to check that out if you haven't already but definitely love this palette already and so hopefully you can see that that's what's on my lids today and then in my waterline i have this eyeliner i used from chanel in the color blue abyss I remember when um, they came out with this collection. It's like an ocean collection. They had all like the mermaid looking colors and glitters. I picked up this blue eyeliner and that's what's in my waterline. Love, love, love it. And then as for my mascara today, I just used this one by Giorgio Armani. I absolutely love this one as well. I will link all the products as I always do down below for you guys. And then as for my blush today, you guys, I used this new one from the last Sephora sale. I picked up this one by Rare Beauty and it's in the shade Love. Looks like that. This is a beautiful, shimmery, peachy-like blush but y'all when i tell you you need the littlest amount on your brush i absolutely had to tap some down and i had to go over it with a clean brush and wipe some off because you can put way too much her blushes are just like her highlighters very very pigmented so you need the least little bit amount with this blush but I absolutely love the sheen that it gives you on your face and how it applied it was so nice then I highlighted my face with another one of her products right here this is her highlighter this one is in the shade exhilarate right there so, absolutely love Rare Beauty. And you know, I have been wearing these highlighters for some time now and definitely love them. So, that is what Exhilarate looks like and it's just a champagne -y gold. So, this is one of my go-to's that I really, really love. In my and collection. then next, you guys, on my lips today as a lip combo, I went in with this new liner I picked up from Fenty Beauty in the shade Peanut Butter. And y'all, when I tell you, I love it more so than my Morphe Sweet Tea. Oh my gosh, it's the perfect liner for my lips, you guys. I love this. The only thing 
that I wish this liner had. I wish it was a roll up. It's one that you're going to have to sharpen. And as you can see right there, mine is almost down already where it needs to be sharpened. But I wish Fenty would have made a roll up for this. But I love the formula of this. It goes on so smooth and pretty and it just glides on your lips. I love that about this, you guys. So again, this is um, a new one I picked up from Fenty in the shade Peanut Butter. And then as for my lip color today, I'm using a gloss from Tom Ford. It's one of my old favorites in Crystal Line. And there is what that shade looks like. And it's just this nice peachy nudie shade that looks absolutely gorgeous on your lips. You see that? Looks gorgeous. So, I love Tom Ford lip glosses. They are old favorites of mine. And so next, on my ears today, I am just wearing a pair of my Louis Vuitton PM Louise earrings. These are in the silver. I do have these in the gold as well. And for my bracelets today, I am wearing my Hermes Click H bracelet. This one is in the pink. It's probably going to be washed out. Um, I'm also wearing this Pandora bracelet, a new one that I just started. I still have my old one, but this new one has like a rose gold tip on it right here. I have been putting like rose gold and pink accessories on this one. So I started and then a next, whole new one. As for one. my necklace today, I have on my Hermes Kelly necklace. I chose this one in the pink, which it matches my bracelet here. It's kind of going to wash it out there. So that's the necklace I'm wearing today. And then my top is an oldie but goodie from Express. And it's just a pink little top that has like the rouging at the end. And so, yeah. And then as for my handbag of the day, I have my YSL camera bag in the beige color here. That is what that looks like. And... Yeah, I have all of my things down in there. So, that is my bag of the day. And for my fragrance of the day, y'all, it's one I have been wearing this summer and have been absolutely loving it. It's the perfect summer scent, you guys. This one is by Ellis Brooklyn and it's called Miami Nectar. The name alone on this one got me because when I saw Nectar, I was like, oh yeah. But y'all, what really gets me about this scent that I smell as soon as I spray it, y'all, is the pineapple in here. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is the perfect, like, fruity, summery vibe fragrance. Y'all, oh my goodness, it's so good. When I smell this, y'all, just putting it to my nose, it just takes me on a beach, y'all. It has that coconut vibe, and it, y'all, it really reminds me of having a pina colada, and I love having a pina colada by the beach. Oh my gosh, you guys, it transports me there, y'all. I've been loving this fragrance. I love it. Okay, you guys. So we made it through housekeeping and we're here for the haul. But let me just tell y'all in advance, go ahead and get you a snack, something to drink, some coffee, something like that. Because I have a feeling this is going to be a long one. I'm going to try to speed through it as fast as I can, but I can't make no promises, you guys. But yeah, grab you something. I have my big old Stanley here. And I apologize in advance if I'm not feeling upbeat. It's because your girl didn't make her no coffee before this video. I tried to be good and do the water. But y'all, your girl needs some coffee. I need some energy. I need some pep me up. 
that's what gets my day started. And to try to drink the water first, y'all, I don't know how I'm going to make it through this video with this water, but I'm going to give it a go, y'all. But as soon as I finish, best believe your girl making her some coffee. So, with all that said, let's get into this haul. I honestly was going to skip the Nordstrom haul this year until one of my lovely subscribers asked if I would share what I got from the anniversary sale. The anniversary sale is one of my least watched videos. And I get it because I'm always late. And there's a reasoning for that. Whenever Nordstrom has their anniversary sale every year, guess whose wedding anniversary it is? Mine. So I'm typically always gone. I'll have like one day to shop in the store. Everything else I have to do online. And then I'm gone. And pretty much when I come back from vacation, the sale is almost over. By the time I get a video all together and try to get it uploaded, such as now, it's almost over. Like by the time you see this, the sale probably would be over or getting ready to be over and the prices will be up. So I'm like, what's the point? And so this year I was really just totally over it. I was going to skip it and I just was like, I'll share things that I buy as, you know, I wear them. But since my lovely subscriber asked me to share, I'm here. I apologize if it's over, but I'm sure you've seen tons of videos and recommendations and all of that. So, yeah, let's get into it. I have three bags to share with you. I'll first start with this little one here. I love their bags this year, by the way, too. They have anniversary sale on the front. And then on the other side, it says fresh, yummy, sweet in the season. Isn't that cute? I have another bag inside of here too. I'll go through this. These items were not on sale. But the one day I went in store to see my rep at the Chanel counter, um, I got some things that had just came in that they showed me and so yeah they're in this bag I will share them as well so the first item that I picked up from the sale that I wanted to try was this deodorant and it's by salt and stone and this is the Santal and vetiver deodorant duo here's what that looks like right there now I must say I am not a stick deodorant girl, but I want to give this one a try. I normally like a spray on. Mmm, this smells so good, guys. Oh, yeah. I definitely am going to put this in my travel bag. Look at that. Can you see that? And so, of course, you get two in here. So... I'm going to give the stick deodorant a try. So, yeah, I normally just use, you know, my little Dove spray. But I thought this was interesting. And so, yeah, I picked that up from the sale. The next item, this is by Osea, but I don't know. Did I get this from Nordstrom's? It's in this bag. But child, I have a OC. And now they do sell this at Nordstrom. But this, I'm, I can't remember if this came from Nordstrom's or somewhere else. Because I be just throwing stuff in the bag, y'all. But anyway, I'll show you anyway. This is Osea. They do carry this at Nordstrom's. But I don't know why I'm thinking I might have got this one at Ulta and just threw it in the wrong bag. That might be true. Um, but anyway, this is Osea again. Um, this is something I wanted to pick up for travel. And I use this oil already, but I hadn't used the body lotion. So I saw this little tiny duo for $30 somewhere. So, um, yeah, I picked it up. 
and again it comes two separate items like this so you get one of the body lotion here and then you get the body oil here let me show you what they look like but I'm gonna put these in my travel bag is the reason why I picked them up because yes I'm going on travel again by the time you see this video it'll be the weekend and I'll be already gone so yeah those are the two items I'm gonna keep out and throw in that travel bag cuz y'all let me tell y'all your girl has been loving being retired and traveling seeing the world I know I used to you know when I work put a lot of energy and you know things I like to collect like handbags and stuff like that I don't do them on the regular anymore because I just want to go and see the world you guys um, and enjoy the time that I have left here on this earth you know so yeah this is my season of you know just love traveling and y'all I wouldn't trade it for the world I wouldn't trade it for the world I love it you guys so anyway see I just go off on a tangent y'all now you guys know I always have to visit the fragrance section because I'm obsessed this first one is not part of the sale, but the second one I got is part of the sale. So the first one is by Dolce & Gabbana, and it's the Light Blue Summer Vibes. You guys, this is what it looks like. Now, y'all, when I tell y'all, I had the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, and I wasn't a big fan of that fragrance at all. But something in my spirit told me to pick up this Summer Vibes. And y'all, when I sprayed it, it was such a beautiful, fruity, floral scent, y'all. I remember smelling like the peach in here. Y'all, I'm going to open it so I can remind myself. And it smelled so nostalgic to me, but I couldn't put my hands on what it smelled like. But y'all, let me show you the bottle. Oh, isn't that a pretty bottle, too? I already got fragrance on, but I'm going to have to spray this again. Yes. Yes. It's the peach in here and the orange. It has some kind of orange nectar, and you know I love that in the fragrance. Oh, yes. It's like a perfect summery scent, y'all. So, I definitely wanted to play around with that. And wear that for the summer. And as it develops, you smell more and more of the peach coming out of the here. The last fragrance I have in this bag came in a set. This one is from Tom Ford. And they have on here the retail value of this valued at $238. But it was on sale um, for $160. And it has one of the fragrances I already have in here. And this is that Tom Ford Trio. It looks like that. So you have a travel spray. And then you have three others here. So this is that Private Blend Cherries Collection Set. Um, these are auto perfumes. So you get Electric Cherry lost cherry which i already own and then you get cherry smoke which i don't have so i love my lost cherry what i was thinking about with getting this was that i will have a nice travel set there right so um, it gave me a chance to check out the electric cherry and the cherry smoke which I sniffed in stores and they smell lovely. And then I have a travel spray of the Lost Cherry. Which I already own in the larger bottle right here that I wear all the time. So, yes, I wanted to have this travel set. And then I have this nice little travel automizer. 
right here to put your fragrance in. And then I figure once all of these are all done, I'll just keep the Lost Cherry right here and decant some of this into that when I will need it. So yeah, I picked up this set and I'm excited to have this new travel set. And then I'm just going to go ahead um, and share with you what was in this bag which I got from the counter um, when I went to see my Chanel rep and I was all around that little makeup area so I picked up some things um, while I was there that weren't part of the sale. So the first thing I got from my Chanel rep that came in new was this new blush. Now, I was going to skip this because you know I have a lot of blushes. When I swatched this gold shade in here, I had to have it, y'all. So, here is what that looks like. It comes with the brush there. And then, there is that beautiful gold shade with the actual peach which i love a peachy tone and i love a gold tone highlighter as well let me just swatch it do you see how that just nicely glides on y'all look at those two colors can you see that so gorgeous there they are my skin swatched yeah so when i tested that i was like yeah they had just came into the chanel counter inside of nordstrom so i'm sure they're online by now late as this video is <laughs> then my chanel rep gave me some like little goodies another item i picked up from the chanel counter was this stilo ombre liner Y'all, I don't have my glasses on, so I can barely see these prints, but that is what it looks like. I got the shade Nude Eclat. Let me show you what that looks like. It looks like that pink right there, and I thought this one would be just like a pretty highlight and pen to go like in my inner tear duct. So, yeah, I picked that one up from that new collection. Then I picked up a new Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder, which y'all know is my favorite. So I ran out of my other one. If I ever can get around to an empties video, you'll see it in there. But I picked up another one here. And I'm always in the shade zero two and this is just what I go over my face and set my face with so I wanted to pick up another um Charlotte Tilbury one right now I was using my LYS one I picked up this new lip oil and it's called rose lip oil is what it says here and that is what this lip oil looks like. And it's just one of those oils. <laughs> I picked up this right here from Lalabo. And it's one of their lip balms. So I wanted to try that out. So with some of my points, I got this for free from Lalabo. So I wanted to check their lip balm out since I was over there. So, I think that was all the makeup stuff I got. You guys, I didn't go ham like I thought I was going to go with the makeup. Because some of the items, when I went in store to like test them out on my hands and stuff. Like they had an Armani, like um, Lip Duo. I wasn't really feeling that one that much. 
I was going to get the whole big L'Occitane set. I ended up skipping that because the last time I was in L'Occitane, they gave me some samples and that smell, that almond smell was just too strong for me. I couldn't do it. It does dissipate, but it was just too, it made my stomach hurt. So I didn't do that shower gel whole combo. But if smell doesn't bother you, that was a nice, um, item to get and I felt it was worth the value because you had that big old two-piece set for like $49 or something like that but anyway that does it for I think what I got for beauty type stuff I call this my long chomp bag right here because y'all know I can't do a sale without picking up anything from long chomp Y'all know how obsessed I am with Longchamp. And y'all, I first picked up one of my favorite bags from Longchamp. And this is the La Pliage Extra Small bag. And I got this one in the silver. That's what it looks like right there. And as you know, I have this bag in probably about every color. I will link my Longchamp collection video um, at the end of this video in case you haven't checked that out. So you can see how obsessed I am with Longchamp, y'all. It's like my perfect travel bag. So, yeah, definitely love this. I have it, I know, in black, navy last year. You know, just the video will share with you all the ones I have. But I picked up this gorgeous silver because I did not have a silver one. I have the sparkly silver Pumas that I wear. Y'all, this is going to match perfectly. So, as you know, this bag comes with the crossbody strap in it. And, yeah, I'm sure you guys know what this looks like. So, definitely am going to get some use out of this. I just have my little sparkly... Um, P448 sneakers right here and look along with my Pumas these are going to be perfect too y'all so I'm definitely going to get use out of this little bag y'all know how obsessed I am with these and they had them on sale for like $70 y'all so I definitely wanted to pick up these and these are cute little catch-alls. You can turn them into purses like I do. Um, you can put them outside of your travel bag, y'all. I have so many of these. So I picked up this one in the sale, which is like... Um, a caramel color I would say but I got home and realized I had one that was similar from the green line that I hadn't used yet it was this one right here and this one is from that green line and what's different about this is just made with recycled materials that's all um, and the tone of the handle like this normally matches the bag so i had this one too and i thought i was going to take this back because i got home and saw this and thought it was too similar to this but then i said no they're too different i'm going to keep them both because this is more like a caramel shade and this is a burnt orange so it was fine so that's good they had the pink one on sale too and I fell in love with this antique pink and so I picked this one up too <laughs> y'all and I didn't stop there y'all I got the matching totes to each one so they had these totes available in the expandable version and they also had them available in the version that I got, which is just the large version. I got these because I do have a Longchamp expandable uh, tote that I use in black for traveling. Um, but I tend to use these bags more only because I use them as purses and travel bags. So 
that's why I got the two in the purse style instead of the expandable style. So I have these two with the matching little totes. My most recent one I got was this beautiful green with the matching green pouch right here. So that should be no surprise to you. That whole bag was long shot. Okay guys, so I ran and got my Pumas because I wanted to show you my sparkly Pumas, how they're gonna be cute with this. Y'all see those? With the little pink on the side and all silver. They are gonna be cute with this little bag. And then lastly, this huge bag right here. I'm gonna go over everything inside of here, y'all. And it's quite full because it has some clothing items in there and accessories. So first by True and Company, y'all, I got me two bras right here. I wish they had this particular style in the color black, but it only came in three colors for this style. Um, and it came in this navy, this nude, and then white. But I really wanted the black one too. But I love the feel of these, y'all. And when I tried these bralettes on, you guys, they felt so good. No underwire, no pinching your skin, none of that, y'all. Um, and they are part of the sale. I think they were like thirty one dollars each i think um but yeah i picked up these two um and then next y'all this item right here the pair i already had is probably from about 10 years ago in a nordstrom anniversary sale and i needed a new pair you guys Hands down, I love the Spanx, y'all. So I got me a new pair of black Spanx because when I tell you, <laughs> I wore my other ones out. I swear, I probably had them about 10 years, y'all. I have wore those things to pieces, have washed them to pieces. Y'all, I needed a new pair. I definitely got my money's worth. So these were part of the sale again. And I'm going to get my $60 wear out of these too. So, yeah, I picked these up for this upcoming season because it's one of those ones I love. And they're staple. And they generally always have them as part of Nordstrom's anniversary sale. So, yeah, I love Spanx. Um, and then next in here, I got three pair of denims. And they're all by the same brand because I love this brand. This is uh, the Good American brand right there um, by Khloe Kardashian and the other um, African American woman who started it. Um, but yeah, I got some of these jeans, y'all, because when I tell you their jeans fit me just how i want a jean to fit i am typically one of those girls who always have to get them taken in if i want them to fit right and don't have to wear like a belt or anything like that because i have a small waist but my butt is huge y'all <laughs> but these jeans are the only jeans that I know that fit my waist good and go around those curves that I have. So I got this like button up style right here. They're nice high waisted dark denim. And they look so nice y'all. So I got this pair. Then I got this pair right here which I love like the wash look right here. So I got this one. And then the last one I fell in love with the front because it gave me like that crisscross looking front 
that was high waisted so this is the perfect pair you can wear like a short top and then you can see like this button detail that kind of looks crisscross if you look at it. So I fell in love with how these looked on the front as well. And when you and see so, these, you'll know why I picked these up. And these... Y'all, look at that. I saw these, y'all. When I saw these through the lookbook, I knew I was going to get them because they're this cute pink and green suede Adidas. I think these are called the Giselles. Yeah, that's what they say on the side. If you can see that right there. What I loved about these, y'all, when I tried them on was that it gave me a little height. It has a little platform right here. So they're a little different than my Adidas Sambas that I wear. These are my Sambas right here. They're a little different because you see they give me a height. So I thought these would be cute with my little jeans and a little top. Yeah, you guys, I picked these up, so... I'm excited for these. So I can't wait to wear those. Those are the sneakers I got. Now these were in, these ran a little big. I got them, I'm typically an eight. And they said to size down a half a size, which I did. So I got a seven and a half. And truly you guys, I could have sized down a full size and got a seven. Because they're a little bit loose in the back. So I guess these just run big with Adidas. So I could have went down another half size. Um, at this point, they're probably going to be sold out. But if I can exchange them, I'll hold on to them and see if I can get a 7 in these. Because I probably would want a 7. Or less I'm going to always have to wear socks with these. And sometimes I don't want to wear socks. <laughs> Maybe I'll just have to get the no-show. So next, but um, I have some jewelry pieces I picked up that I went in. I got two of my earrings that I always get from the anniversary sale. Because I'm always losing one of them. So <laughs> I got two different sizes. So I got the two carat size that looks like this. One of them I did lose on vacation. I couldn't remember whether it was the two carat or three carat. So I got them both. One is gold and one is silver backing if you can see. They don't look that much of a difference. So this is two and this is three. But they're very believable earrings and you can wear these, take them on vacation, you guys. And if you lose one, you ain't going to be stressed out about it because, you know, they're cubic zirconias. So, I definitely love getting these. They have a lot of little cute bracelets and necklaces, you know, the initial. They didn't have any T's, so I just picked up this little bracelet right here. And if you can see that, I think this bracelet was on sale for $19.99. And it is um, gold. And if you can see that, it has like little crystals around it too. Now, this last item I got, you guys, was not part of the sale. I moseyed on over to sunglasses which is another thing you guys know i'm obsessed with they had a whole table i'll try to insert some pictures they had like the key australia's they had tiffany ones but i wasn't interested in any of those sunglasses of course i have to choose a pair and like a pair that wasn't on sale y'all but i picked them up anyway they are from Prada, if you can see that, comes in this nice white 
lovely box. When you open it, you have the Prada box as well. Here's all the materials. I see a dust cloth. Oh, I did. Oh, this is nice. Look at this one. This is going in my bag right now. Look at that. That drawstring. Oh my goodness. It's such a pretty satiny quilted in the inside material. Oh, I'm happy for that one. And then you get your box with your glasses with your information in there. So let's check out these glasses that y'all when i saw these they gave me 90 vibes retro vibes y'all so i was like oh i don't have anything like that and they are so cute y'all in my color look at them they are green aren't they so cute y'all and let me show you the sides And that's the size, so it has like the little triangle feel on the sides right there. The like typical Prada triangle with Prada written in gold. And y'all, let me try these on. Oh, I love them. Oh my gosh, they're such a vibe, y'all. They are such a vibe. Do you see that? Y'all, do you see it? It's such a vibe. I love these sunglasses, y'all. And I was like, ooh, these are so 90s. I remember wearing glasses like this in the 90s, y'all. I love it. So naturally, y'all, when I tried these on, I had to pick them up, even though they weren't part of the sale. But I love them, you guys. So I got those. That is all I picked up from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I am going to share with you a couple other things while we're here and I can put all these things away. You probably already saw like a reel already. I got a pair of Chanel's as well in green because I was waiting for these to come back in stock on the website. They had every other color but this green color and it was sold out for a while but when i got the alert that it came back i was happy to get these now i ain't in love with this case i wish they would have did the case like my other case that's like a leather feel because this is more like a fabric and you see it's gonna get little fuzzies all over it it's cute though but it's gonna get little fuzzies so here is what my other case looks like. It just has Chanel right here and it has the quilting on the back. This one feels leather-like. It's wipeable and this is like that fuzzy material is what I was saying. But I figure I will show these again in this video and do a try on of my green square shape sunnies from Chanel. Let's try these babies on. Bam! There she go, y'all. What do you think? What do you think? Tell me what you think. They're very dark. But I love them, you guys. I love that green. That pop of green sets it off for me. So, that was my second pair of sunnies. <laughs> so, these up. next sunnies I've already worn. But they were part of that sale. It came in this little pouch with also a nice little dust cloth. I have two pair of these. They come in a two pack or you can buy them singly. The two pack was on sale during Amazon Prime for $15.99 which they're normally like $19.99. But I got these y'all. And I tell you I love these shades. And the second pair that I got is black, but they're in my car. Now, I will link them down below. Again, you can buy a single pair or you can buy them double. But, you know, the Amazon Prime Day price is over. But they still have them for a good deal. I mean, $20 um, for two pair of glasses is good. Um, so, next, 
from Amazon Prime. I wanted to try out two of BK Beauty brushes. So I got two. One of them is part of the Angie Hot and Flashy line. It's the number 506 brush. And I thought this would be a nice concealer brush right here this is what it looks like and you know you can just dab right up under your eyes when i'm doing the concealer so i wanted to try that out and then i wanted to try out one of her other foundation brushes i thought would be good to put in my travel bag this is a mini foundation brush in 109 that i've heard good things about so i thought since it was on sale on prime i would get these two and try them out because I've never tried any of the BK Beauty brushes and again a nice little foundation brush that has that like curve edge here and it's soft oh very soft so pick that up from Prime Day the other thing I picked up from Prime, which I don't have up here, is downstairs in my kitchen. I picked up a whole bunch of the Celsius energy drinks um, because I drink those on the off day that I'm not drinking coffee to give me some energy. Because as you can see right now, I don't have no energy in me because I didn't have one of those drinks this morning, nor did I have a cup of coffee. But don't worry, as soon as I show you this, I'm going to get it. And so, the next item that I picked up that was part of that Amazon Prime sale day, I had my eye on and I said I was going to pick it up for Christmas time. But since Amazon had it on sale on Prime Day, y'all, it was the perfect time to get it. And these are the Apple AirPod Max with the smart case you guys and as you can see I got them in my color green and so yeah I think these were almost like $200 off I think on they retail for like five something and they had them for like three something during Amazon Prime so I was just like okay this is the time for me to get it and look, I want to open them. Here we go. I'm glad they had that little tab to pull to open it because I didn't bring my opener. And since I'm getting ready to leave again for a week on vacation, I'm going to take these with me. So look at that, guys. Comes with a nice little case, y'all. I can't wait to have these. Let's get the stuff off of it so you can see the true color here so that's what it looks like a beautiful case right there and there's my beautiful green headsets y'all take all this off look at that so y'all Oh, and I can't hear nothing. It's counseling out all the noise. Look at that. So, yep, I'm taking these with me. So, yeah, I'll have these on the plane, y'all. And that's what I picked up from Prime Day. So, y'all, only now, if y'all can see the mess, all over here that I gotta pick up. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my coffee first, y'all, because it's a mess. But that is it, you guys. That is all I have to share with you for now. I will see you guys really, really soon. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Comment down below some of the things you picked up during the sale, if you shopped the sale. And if you didn't shop the sale, Tell me something that you saw in my haul that you actually liked. So, yeah, that is going to be it for today, you guys. Don't forget to comment, 
like and subscribe do all the things the youtubers out here tell you to do do it for me as well don't forget you guys i am trying to get to 5,000 subscribers and it's because i want to give away this bag from longchamp that i have been holding here as a giveaway as i stated for you guys so it's been here and i want to give it away to one of you out there one of my beautiful subscribers so don't forget to hit that subscribe button subscribe to the channel you guys come back and visit me and as always you guys thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys i was able to shop early and they gave out these cute little bags that you could get customized. So on the back of mine, I got my name embroidered on it in green.